Hello, welcome back to day two in our HackerRank 30 Days of Code Challenge in Python. And today for day two, we'll be going over operators, so essentially using math in Python. Our task for today is that we'll get a meal cost, a tip percentage, and a tax percentage, and we'll have to calculate the total cost for a meal. So looking over at the sample input, we'll get the meal cost, tip percentage, and tax percentage. And then we would have to calculate the total cost as shown here. And we would round our answer to nearest whole number, nearest whole integer. So how our code look, or, or is working right now is that we have a function called solve. And that function would, need, would get three parameters or inputs, essentially. And we'd be using those inside our um, function to calculate the total cost. So first, let's calculate our tip. So we're getting a tip percentage. So we'll get the number. So tip is equal to the number we get. And since it has to be a percentage, um, we would divide that by 100. And in Python, division is the forward slash symbol. So it's the number underneath the question mark. And then we'll multiply it by our total meal cost. So if we get a 20, it will be 20% of our meal cost. And multiplication in Python is asterisk. So it would be shift 8. And we'll do the same thing to calculate our tax. So our tax is equal to the tax percentage divided by 100. And another important thing is that in Python and mostly all of the programming languages, math, uh, mathematical operations follow the rule of the order of operations, so PEMDAS, and multiplication again uh, of our meal cost. And now we can um, add everything up to the total cost. The total is equal to our meal cost plus our tip plus our tax. And we also need to round our total to the nearest number. So to round that, there's a function in Python called round. So we just use that over our number we get. Now let's print it so far and see what we get. Okay, so it passed the test script test case. And a few more things that this didn't cover is um, for subtraction, you'd use this. And for exponents, you'd use a double asterisk. See you in day three.